will be next to play our little game of hide and seek amongst the pumpkins. Levioso. Hello again. Can you help me? Ah, Sir Nicholas's young friend. Has he abandoned you? Not at all. I need to speak to Richard Jackdaw. Sir Patrick said his head might be around here somewhere. Indeed it might be. Hmm. It is a bit unorthodox to include a mortal, but if you do wish to speak with him... Oh, why not? You can speak with Jackdaw if you can find his head amongst these pumpkins. Not just once, but five times. Good old Dumfrey will move the head to a different spot each time you find it. Those are the rules. What say you? Why are you using Jackdaw's head for this game? Well, if you must know, Jackdaw's our newest member, so we like to put him through his paces. Please, could you explain the rules again? Find his head amongst the pumpkins five times. Use your wand. I cannot be more specific than that. How did you happen to become a member of the Headless Hunt? I was executed alongside some fellow mutineers. We didn't like the way things were being run in our county, so we took matters into our own hands. Treason is such a strong word, but that's what we were found guilty of. Things would have turned out much better if they'd let me be in charge. If that's what I need to do to speak to Jackdaw, I'll do it. Marvellous! Of course, a mortal holding a wand has an advantage over us ghosts. You can simply blast away to your heart's content. Remember, the game's not over until you find him five times. Begin! Cast away until you find him! Whatever you say, Dumfrey. This is not my finest moment. are in order. Not too bad for a mortal. Now, say what you need to say to old Jackdaw here, hmm? You've earned it. Nicely done. But what's going on? You're not a member of the Headless Hunt. No, I'm not. Sir Nicholas said you might know the location of some pages I'm looking for. Merlin's beard. I know precisely the ones you mean. I pinched them from Peeves. How could I forget? The map on those pages led me to my demise. I was not ready for what awaited me in that cave. The pages are likely still mouldering away with my, uh, uh, remains. Quite a final adventure, I must confess. The pages are why you lost your head, and I must visit a cave and search for your corpse. Yes. 
You'd think a decapitated ghost would get used to the word corpse. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to go. What will I find in the cave? Aside from my mortal remains, if I remember correctly, some treasures, a magical bridge. But what kind of an adventure would it be if I spoiled the surprises for you? Did someone in the cave cut off your head? I was having a look around when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze, after which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, when you visit, be prepared. I can't tell you what for, specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. How is it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He has a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor. Whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. I found them after he ran riot through the library. Doubt he even noticed they were gone. I need those pages, so I suppose I'd better meet you. Thank you. Not to worry. I'll just need to be reunited with my body first. But Dumfrey can handle that. See you at the forest's edge.